Hi, today I'm going to do a simple activity with coffee filters, colors, colored markers, and water. It's called a kind of chromatography, which is when you separate colors out. So I'm starting the chromatography with coffee filters, markers, and some water and extra cups. And this is one time you don't want ultra washable markers. Maybe regular washable ones should work okay. So I'm going to take my coffee filter, I'm going to color a ring on it, and then I'm going to put that coffee filter in water. So let's Putting a ring, I'm not going all the way to the middle of the circle, but then I'm going to fold my circle, my filter in half, in fourths, in eighths. So I took my coffee filter that had the purple ring on it, I'm putting it in the water and seeing the capillary action, which means something that is porous, like the coffee filter, is allowing the colors to expand within the cup. I'm going to try one more color. And again, it doesn't take, doesn't need much time. Okay, now I'm seeing how the capillary action is happening with the orange, and you can see an almost yellow tinge. It's gone beyond that now, but I'm going to let the color spread up the top of the filter a little bit more before I take it out to let it I think the orange came out really nicely. Again, I'm going to just let it sit for a little bit. I have one that's already dried. I did my red one earlier. And I'm going to make a butterfly out of it. So, what I need for that is I'm going to just sort of pinch this in the middle. And put a pipe cleaner. I really want to bunch it more than anything. Cut my pipe cleaner, I wound it around pretty tight so it's kind of like a bow. The two parts are pretty bunched up. Top will be the antennae. So there's my first butterfly. 